All right, Matt, today we're going to talk about something uh, which we haven't tried yet, and it's in regard to an O-1 visa. And we're actually looking for someone uh, that we can test out and do a case study on. Um, and so let's dig into it. So first of all, what's an O-1 visa? It's, quote unquote, an extraordinary ability in the sciences, education, business, athletics, arts. It's for someone that's important in their home country that wants to come to America, get a green card visa, but they have to be, uh, quote unquote, a genius or a leader in what they do. Okay. So is this a, uh, this genius determination is a way for them to sort of establish themselves and get a permanent uh, residence set up in the United States? Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So America wants these immigrants who are capable of bringing a nice new startup or some nice revenue, tax revenue in some way or form to America. So it's a good way to bypass all the hoops. So if you're, you know, special in your regard, they kind of put you in front of the line and let you into the country. And I found out about it just recently. I was on the ski slopes and I was talking to this guy who's in trying to get in the country. And he's, I told him what I did. And he's like, oh, I wish I knew about you for this O-1 visa I was trying to go for. And he's, his theory of why he got rejected was because he got searched on Google and he had nothing said about him. So it just didn't coordinate with his, in his mind, his genius. Interesting. So yeah, it got me thinking. I was like, all right. So I'm reading the government's website and a lot of it says about major publications, major media, um, a strong reputation in what you do. And those are all words that we correlate with. Right. That's all stuff that we do. So the so what's the theory behind it? What are you thinking that we have to do in order to help someone get this O-1 visa? First, I think the person needs to actually be have a fighting chance. You know, if someone has been a low level employee for a company, they probably don't have a chance. But if they have a startup or maybe they have a PhD, something that makes them more special than the average human being, I think they have a chance. But my theory on it is the government worker, they're not going to know you know, what your startup was in Serbia. They're not going to know um, who you are. They're by default. So they're going to Google search you. How else are they going to find out if you have major media about you? So we build out your online pres presence. Um, we get you into major publications. A lot of them are pay to play, but kind of under the table. Forbes, Huffington Post. AP News, Business Insider. So we write these glowing stories about the person and their company. And when the government, US government official Google searches them to see if they are truly extraordinary, it helps reinforce the theory. That's interesting. So I know that the publications that you mentioned are, are very high profile and also really expensive, right? Yeah, some are more expensive than others. Forbes on the higher end, uh, Business Insider, AP News. It's done as a press release, but it looks legit. Um, but if you dive deep enough, you know it's a press release. So that's kind of why we need a, a dummy, uh, a, a demo to see how the criteria for the government's going to do it if they're are going to allow press releases or it has to be completely paid for or a completely uh, free contributor uh, like Forbes. So it's going to be a lot of trial and error. And I think at the end of the day, each person the government reviewing the case is going to be different. They're going to have different criteria in their mind. Um, and I'm sure some people are going to be eligible either way without our services. But the way I look at it is can't hurt, um, helps reinforce the person's a genius and major publications. So yeah, we need someone out there who's willing to let us give us a try, use you as a kind of before and after. We'll give you a very, very reduced fee for this. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can find someone and help them get into this beautiful country. Great. So if you're if you're watching this video, you're listening to this as a podcast. You know we're we're looking for a test case. We're looking for somebody that you know maybe fits some of this criteria. Is seeking out the O one visa for permanent residence, and you know we'll work with you. We'll have a consultation, and let's see what happens. Let's see if we can help you. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. Thank you.